In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you very much for allowing us to be together, to learn from your examples, to learn lessons for being a, a good leader. And Almighty Father, allow the Holy Spirit to be with us, to open our hearts, to know what's the truth, to open our minds, and to open ourselves to serve others. Lord, be with us from the start to the end. Allow the Holy Spirit to be in control of our session. For this I ask in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Master. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters, thank you. Thank you for everything. We have to thank the Lord. We are safe. We are still alive. And God is with us at all times. And um, welcome to our uh, HLT. We are now on the sixth session of our training as leaders. So we hope uh, you are with much as I am with you in sharing lessons from our being a good leader. So our topic for today is a uh, good example. Good Maayo, then example is panag-ingnan, no? panag-ingnan or sumbanan ourselves as a, uh, the mirror, the mirror of what God made us as a leader. So, maayong panag-ingnan or sumbanan. We, we are talking about good example. No? So, we should be model. As an example, if we should be model or again panag-ingnan, no? for our members, those members uh, under us, those our leaders above us, no panag-ingnan. And we should be, as a model, we should be a living witness sa bagong kinabuhi, a new us, a new life in Jesus through our life experiences. Through the words we teach, the words we speak, from the abundance of our hearts, that's where our actions come. So, the words we teach should be reflected in our actions. Again, each one of us, we have our personal models. No? But as a Christian, our personal, our personal model is Jesus himself. Now, as what John, as what we can see from John 13 verse 15, for I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. These are the words of Jesus himself. Jesus made his life and words an example that we have to follow. Even John Paul himself, from his letter to the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1, John Paul said, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. So Christ takes the example of Paul and he pointed to us that he, his life is, is what we can see, the life of Jesus. So again, Jesus and Paul, they both recognized that our actions speak louder than words. What we say, speak more, give way to more than who we are. They are no longer with us. Jesus is no longer with us as much as Paul. So it's now our turn. We are now the ones, we are now the ones following their example. And there are four aspects of being a good example. No? Upat aspeto ang ato hinumduman to be a good example. First is conformity. Conformity is kanang pagsubay. No? Conformity is pagsubay or paguyon. How do we show our paguyon or pagsubay? It is to, to conform to the observance, no? to the observance of everything. Sa tanan, na itong nakatunan, everything that makes up our being a handmaid of the Lord. So first, it is in the covenant. Remember when we finish our selfie, I hope you still have that covenant card. No? That is one aspect that we have to conform on our covenant. The, the life in hold. So, the covenant of hold is mo na itong kasabutan. No? Mo na ito ang 
kauyunan no when we have that covenant card it meant that we nakauyun kita no when we sign the covenant card so that's our covenant and also our culture our culture our culture in 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 in, in handmaids of the lord no how does it it shows our culture in 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 in, in the community first we have to be faithful Faithful to meetings meaning pagka matinumanon, no? matinumanon ta. So if we have a, a weekly household prayer meeting, we have to follow. We have to follow because that is the culture that we always have a prayer meeting. We have a household meeting. We have teachings. We have a formation track. So faithfulness. Then punctuality. No? Punctuality is, um, when we say it's 2 o'clock, it's really 2 o'clock. Do not go there when it is already bliss as a Lord. No, no, no. Punctuality is from the start at, up to the end. You, you, you don't have to. Punctuality doesn't only mean coming early. It, it, it doesn't also mean you have to cut short. It's through and through. Then in our, our culture, in our community, is how we feel for each other. You know, how we care. It is our relationship. Remember, the more years you, you are with the community, you are, we are more close to our household than our blood relatives, if you notice it. We are more close to, to our members than our relatives. So the, the, our affection is developed. You know, that's the culture. Uh, we feel for each other. We cry for each other. We laugh for each other. That's our relationship. And then one of all also that we have to take notice our speech no uh, atong panutihon sometimes our speech our atong panutihon can kill a person no we have to be loving caring no that's how then atong speech is kanang there is loyalty no there is loyalty and another thing is in our culture we have that financial support we support each other if there's somebody in need and also we support the community in its missions and in, in its projects now if we don't live out our covenant and culture if we do not conform with our covenant and culture we cannot expect our members to follow no? we cannot expect our members to do so also because what they can see in us they will follow so if we are not faithful to our meetings then they are not also faithful no? number two is our humility Humility is mapaubsan, no? being humble. We usually hear other members, mas makahibalo ko nimo because, you know, I granted with honors. No? Mas makahibalo ko nimo how to do it because mas teralgo ko. No? So our community, everybody, everyone is equal. Nobody is above, nobody is below. You also have to assume the mentality that we are servant leader and we are not managers we are not dealing with corporate we are not dealing with you know an office that you are the manager you are the supervisor no we are, are we are the servant no so see to it that your household the members have ready access to you, you know? but sometimes you know it's hard now because this pandemic but then we have phones we have cell phones so they can always call us now Accessibility means availability. We are available for them. If they have concerns, if they have problems, we are there for our members. And we have to be pleasant in our speech. When we listen to someone, ka nang maminaw ka, at least dahi mo gano'ng maminaw nga, full attention, no? Ka nang bitang, ah, mauba, adi, ay, unya, ka nang bitang, unya, unya, no? So, we have to be pleasant, no? We have to be, ka nang, ka nang concern sa yung ka, sa iyang problem, iyang, concerns no so we have to be lovable also um we are be more loved than for dili ta angay kahadlukan nang adi lang ko ana ni oy kay strict tara bukay na siya adi lang ko ana ni oy kay maingraba na siya na i don't have time no no once you give yourself to others you have to give the whole of you your time yeah your listening heart your listening ear so you have to be lovable and then don't be a know-it-all. Again, I, I, this is 
in relation to our not thinking highly of yourself. I know, I know, because I read the Bible, I read the book, I read everything, I know everything. So don't be a know it all. As leaders, it's not expected of us to know everything. And lastly, you have to be total dependent on God no? in, in, in wisdom, in guidance, in our sympathy, in, in, in how we feel for our members. We have to be totally dependent on the power of God, more especially on the Holy Spirit. Now, the third aspect, maturity. Now, kanang Maturity is what we call hamtong na, hamtong sa panutihon. Dili bito ka nung binata pag yun gihapon ka nung. Pero bag, usay, why buot ang sanotihan? Why buot ang decision? No? We have to be mature now. In what way we can be mature? In our personal conduct, no? we have to be serious. No? Uh, it's not really that very, very serious. No? We can afford to have jokes. But ka nabitang mga silly jokes ka nang Kanang mga binuang ang mga jokes. No? Let's do away with it. Let's do away with it. Let's be be, be serious on on. Don't behave like um. Kanang we call it we call it. Don't behave like a trifler. Trifler is kada bitang mga antics, no? mga silly jokes, no silly jokes. Let's avoid that. Now, uh, while you want to be more loved, no, while you want to be more loved than feared, no, kaysa mahad hadlukan ka, um. We should also there should, there should also be an amount of fear nga kanang angay sa kang kadlukan but not really a hundred percent kanang mahadlok na kanang mahadlok sa sila dito mo yaga yaga mahadlok sa sila magbinuang no um there is a little amount of fear or there is what we call with reverence for you kanang reverence is kana bitang uh, dili sa juga kadlukan ka ka kuanan lang ka kanang how do you call it? Kana ito ang maikog sa kailan ni mo kay tarong ka, tarong pang kagkapagkatao. So, do not be authoritative when necessary. Remember that um, you don't have to know everything. You can always refer that. There are some things to na angay, angay, angay niya na to. I-clarify. Remember, we have leaders up. No? We can always check on them. Now, this one, don't play favorites. Uh, sometimes you cannot avoid this. No, digi nani to kalikayan, especially bitaw ka ng atong member buutan siya. You can always ka ng call, no? Ka ng, sometimes we play favorites, no? But uh, as much as we can avoid it, avoid it lang na. Ka ng usahay, ka ng bitang, I play favorite. Also sometimes ka ng bitang, ay mutawag, mutawag na ako, no? Mayon, sister, ka ng... Saman, I'm on my way near your house. Kanang, I have something for you. Ay, so salamat. Ay, favorite pag yung ka. No? Ay, sa, ayaw siya hindi ipaklaro. No? Ay, but, but as much as possible, um, do nothing that can cause a member to think na you you hate her or you 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 like her. So, at least lang. No? Tuloy kaya na na to. Um, Another is that the word work. Work is our our work in the community. So one is be truthful. No, matinod anon ka sa imong gihimo, sa imong panutan, no, sa imong panutihon. Matinod anon ka, and then at least you are serious, no. You being a household leader, kana uh, during the meeting you are prepared, na, no. So again, prepare for the meeting. So that's part. Uh, think of your being a leader as the opportunity. It is really an opportunity to help. A person move on. It is also an opportunity for us to grow spiritually mature. No, it is always an opportunity for us to pray to God. No, uh, think of. Uh, I mean, the, our our mission is do not think of it even as a work because work kapul yun manta. Think of something that it is you doing it for the love of God. So it's an opportunity. Now, in the event, do not cancel any meeting except for uh, uh, grave reasons, nagbagyo, nagkonsadiha, or do not cancel it just for the heck of it na, ay, wala, di isa tamang meeting, gikapoy ko, gikwat, or anak. No, you are not. So, 
you are not if you are if you're not available so ideally mong available you cancel the meeting no of course you have to make plans for it now most especially now are you at prepare for the meetings no if you have bible sharing you prepare for it so again preparedness for the meeting is that's it shows it shows maturity then in judgment this is judgment and wisdom in our judgment you grow we grow in wisdom no judgment is kanang paghukom no pag, pag judge again judge yeah paghukom so the value of wisdom is always always is taken from scriptures no that's from proverb 3 verses 13 to 15 blessed is the one who finds wisdom no blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding for the gain from her is better than the gain from silver. So again, uh, scriptural wisdom is necessary. It should not be academic wisdom. You know, there is a difference between scriptural wisdom coming from God and our understanding or practical wisdom coming from books or academic or from theories. You know, we call it theoretical, theoretical understanding. Although it can be useful, but in our community, we depend so much on the scriptural wisdom. It's not only wisdom about living, but household leaders, we need pastoral wisdom. We need practical understanding you know, on how to build up a sister, how to build up a member, and how to care for the lives of any Christians. So, Again, how are we going to... This is it. This is the pastoral wisdom, practical understanding that comes from God about living or doing something, not academic or theoretical. So next is how do we acquire wisdom? Acquiring a wisdom is a gift from the Holy Spirit, talking about scriptural wisdom. So how do we acquire it? First from Proverbs 9 verse 10. It is rightly related to God. I mean, it is scriptural. The wisdom that we have is scriptural. It's not theoretical. It's not from the books. And then like Solomon, you know the story of Solomon. Solomon prayed for it. You know? In James 1 verse 5 to 6, you pray for it, you ask for it. Lord, give me the wisdom. Uh, even now, even now that I, I don't have members, I still pray for wisdom. Lord, give me the wisdom to decide things for my for me and for my family. Give me the wisdom to show it to others that life is short, life is you know uncertain. That's the wisdom. Give me the understanding. So you have to pray and ask for it. And you have to learn it from scriptures. Where do you get it from the Bible, from your readings, scriptural readings? So learn from the scriptures. And we also have teachings. You no, know, we have a lot daghan ka ay tag teachings no may nag sa ato pang sinote an murag nangalata na lang na diha and we we already this year this year our our direction is go back to the basics kay nakalimot na ta no uh, tungod sa kadaghan nakalimot na ta in fact look surukso na lang ni atong teachings no we learn from our teachings from our formation tracks and we learn it also from our leaders especially during during meetings, no? D during mag meeting ka, na, they, they are helping us. Okay. And then we also have the four aspects of being a good example. Now, what are the aspects of being a good example? This is it, no? Uh, Proverbs 9, James, this learn from scriptures, learn from hold. It seems okay. Now, next is um, integrity. Now, in all the talks, in all that, in all the, the talks on our household uh, leaders, leaders training, integrity always is this is always mentioned. No, integrity. Unsa man ang integrity? Integridad. Unsa man ang integridad? No, integridad. Integrity is kanang mayo ugawi kana matarong na tao no matarong na tao a good example is david uh, a good example is david 
from Psalm 78. Now, Psalms are the songs of David. You know, songs of David. So, is in, in Psalm 78, with integrity of the heart. This is gi, 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 gi highlight Genesia, an integrity of the heart. No. Integrity of the heart. This is David. The, the story of David. Now, it's not being... Uh, in integrity doesn't mean ka ng wakay sala. No? It's not being sinless, sinlessness. But the point there is integrity is more on how we handle our sinfulness. How we handle our failures. How we handle how we stand up every time we fall. You know, every time we sin. And David was chosen by God to lead his people because of his integrity of his heart. Now, remember what happened to David. Dako kahit nakasala si David because, you know, uh, he sang with Bathsheba. He did not deny it. He accepted it that he was a sinful person. And God was looking at the heart of David. Ang pagkamatarong niya, ha? he accepted that he is a sinful man. God is more concerned. He is more concerned of our integrity than perfection. Because he knows, kibaw ang ginoo na makasala ta karon nga itag sa ilo sala na sa rugusab no he knows everything no he knows everything so integrity is more about direction asa ka padulong nang makasala ka rather than rather than perfection okay so again integrity rationalizing justify nimo nga nakasala man gud ko tungod ani tungod ana you try to rationalize na kanang you made a mistake because of this no? Sometimes we excuse our bad behavior. Again, we blame others for what we are. No? Excusing bad behavior is worse than the behavior. Imo, justify ang imong sala. It's more than the sala na imong nahimo. So, kana betang, have you, have you promised to do something, no? That you didn't do it, and then, and then you, you, you try to excuse yourself, no? Rather than, Dawato ni mga nakasala ka, you, you, all the reasons and all the excuses you give. So again, that's integrity versus perfection. So sometimes, um, in, it is the nature, it is our nature, no? It is, uh, the, in, it's in the nature of God. It's in the nature of God. It's the very nature of God. And the foundation of God's kingdom is integrity. So a person can have skills. A person can be good in everything. He can be the best education he had. Um, even even if he is anointed by God, but still without basic integrity, he's nothing in the eyes of God. Integrity is manifested in the three M's. First is the morals. Moral is pamatasan. Now in Proverbs 11, the integrity of the upright shall guide them. And the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Perverseness kana bitang masupakon, no? Perverse, perverse person kana masupak dayon, kana wapaka makahuman ng sulti. Ay, ana, there is no dayon, no? Transgressors, we call it kana badlungon, badlungon. So, morals, that's in Proverbs 11. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. Now, again, our standard of good conduct should not be in a maximum. You know, some people attitude seems to be, so how much can I get away with it? So, sahay ka nang makahunaw na tabi to. Kana bitang attitude bito nga, nakalusot na siya, makalusot sa makalusot lang. Now, the other aim is in marriage. For if a man cannot manage his own household, how can he take care of God's church? That's from First Timothy Chapter 3, verse 5. So, again, a leader proves himself in the care of his family. That's from Timothy. No. Do all things for your family. Sometimes, no, sometimes, we hear stories in the community itself na, kaya nasa sa iyang household, but she's also, she's not good in handling her family. No? Maayok ay isang muda sa iyang members, but when she goes home to her own family, it's in rumble. We should, as a leader, take charge of our family also. Then lastly, we have last aim is in the community in our ministry. 
This is where our integrity is manifested. This is where we show our pagkamatarong. No, pag there should be no compromise. Do not compromise the truth on God's word. No. Uh, oh, sige, kanan. Sige, ma mura, mura mag-okay siguro na. No. What is black is black. What is sin is sin. There are some areas, some instances nga we, have, we should also be open for correction. No. Kita mismo mga leaders, makasala ba ya punta? So, we should be open for correction or for scrutiny. No? Uh, our life is also an open book for our members. So, this, they get what they say and they can say what they say. There should be no competition. No? Uh, Kato, maayaw mong gotong household. No? Maayaw ilang leader. No. no, we are different. We are different. So, do not copy somebody's uh, style. If it's not your style, avoid comparing your household to another household. Make decisions when you decide for the members. Always, always pray first. No? Always ask for God's, God's wisdom. Now, the standard of God's word and the direction of the Holy Spirit. Always, always, at all times, in all circumstances, you argued from the guidance, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. No. The value of being a good example. Why do you have to be a good example? So the value of being a good example. First, good leaders form good followers. Of course, no? We follow, no, we become a good household leader because we follow our unit leader. So that's why ang, ang the, the life, the lifeblood of the community of how, comes from the household leader. So what you are, how you lead your members, those members, when they become a household, mukatay siya, mukatay siya. So if you are a good household leader now, your members definitely will follow you and they will also be a good household leader up and up and up. So the lifeblood of the community is in the hands of a household, basic household leader. Show them a new way of life. Make your life an open book. Not, not necessarily all the secrets, no. It's how you are giunsa ka pag-usab, giunsa ni mo pa, giunsa sa ginoo ang imong kinabuhi. God, the God wish with you all the time in all, I mean, in all circumstances imong kinabuhi, God has always been there and will always be. So show them a new way of life. How God changes your, I mean, how, how as Christians and how as a handmaid of the Lord. When you give instructions, it's not enough words, but you have to do it. When you say, be there at 2 o'clock, you should be there before 2 o'clock. No? Your action should be ahead of what you're saying. Many teachings, daghang ay tag teachings in our community. No? Daghang ayo. No? The teachings that you have learned should be integrated in your life and fully live out. Puy anato as leaders. Puy anato. And conversely, uh, dili nato ipakita ang bad example, but the good ones. The good ones in us. Teachings and formation tracks should be integrated and live out. How so they showing bad example will nullify whatever value might have been received in the teaching. Being a household head should be a mirror for our members. In conclusion, as a household leader, it's not our leaders who choose us. No. It's God who chose us. As much as God chose David to be the shepherd of his people, you are the David in the life of our members. No? We, are, we should have the determination and that determination should lead us to be a good example. It should lead us to imitate God in every aspect of our lives. Being a Christian leader, we should imitate the life of Jesus. Be a visible model of Jesus. As in Galatians 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but Christ lives in me. Sisters, we are blessed. We are blessed, we are honored and because we have the opportunity to follow Jesus and what we learn from Jesus 
we give to others the good example. God be with us as we lead others closer to God. Thank you, sisters. Let's be a good example to others as much as we lead as a good leader to our members. God bless us.